Hello folks, we are now continuing, this is the second little session on the Catholic Church. And of course we all know, we all can speak Greek, and we all know the Catholic means universal. So, our ambition now is to talk about the universe, heaven and earth. That's the Catholic Church, heaven and earth. It's not just some pokey place in Rome or down the street, it's the whole of the universe. Okay, so here we go boys. Uh, and girls. <laughs> and the whole thing starts. The last uh, session we were talking about Adam and Eve. Well, the thing about Adam and Eve is it, we kind of saw is, is, is uh, sort of, uh, lot, some people say it's lost in a mist of mythology and old ideas. But here we are entering history. We can, in a way, this, this name, for example, Abraham, why are we so uh, involved? Why are we giving and devoting ourselves completely to Abraham. I'll just do a quote, if I can remember. I'm not very good at even to quote the Bible. If we look at Psalm number 2 in the Bible, Psalm it says, You are my son. We have just remember that Abraham is me, and Abraham is not just 4,000 years ago. Everybody has to go through the same process. Now, according to the, the Bible and the Psalm number 2, it says, You are my son. <coughs> This day I have begotten you. <clears throat> that means, doesn't mean I've come from a, a kind of a womb. I've come, well, I, it means I have chosen you. Ask me and I will give you all the nations as your heritage. Ask me, God, and I can give you the whole world. Ask me and the whole world and all the nations will be your possession. In other words, this, this Abraham story is basically telling us what everybody has to do. Everybody gets up in the morning and he looks around the place, whatever, whatever his situation, he may be a poor uh, servant sweeping the street, or he may be a king, or he may be an emperor, or he may be a dictator, whatever it is. That's him, that's him, Yabraham. Every man is Abraham. The word Abraham means a father of a great multitude, because if the father does his stuff, he will be the father of a great multitude. So we've got to follow this guy Abraham to solve all the world's problems, literally. Okay. Well, we can see here in miniature. If we turn on, if we turn on the television anywhere in the world, what do we see? Turkey, Turkey, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Egypt. That's what we see. And what's going on? It's chaos. Let's face it. Let's face it, Israel is surrounded by these old nations. We're not saying who is wrong or who is right. We're just saying categorically, which you can, everybody knows. It's a farce. Up here we have Armenia. Armenia, where does Armenia come from? comes from the Uratu tribes. They were originally up there, became Armenia. Okay. Iran, where, do the, where does Iran, Persia come from? The Elamites. Okay. Up here we've got the, the, the Kurds are all here. What do they come from? They come from the Medes. We know the Medes and the Persians. Here we have the Jews. Who do they come from? The Habiru. We all know the Habiru and the, the, the kind of, so we, we have all these tribes coming down here. The Hittites, the Hurrians, uh, and you have the Sumerians, uh, and uh, the, the per Persians, the Parthians, and they all go up. And what are they coming to? They're coming down. They, this, is come, this is where Abraham was. So Abraham came from this place, Go'u, which is the center of the trouble. We can remember it just recently when Bush uh, wanted to invade, that's where the army was. Here is Kuwait. So this is, we're right in the middle of this whole Kabul, and they're all fighting. Today, the big fight is going on exactly f as 4,000 years, 5,000 years ago. The place was shambles. But out of the chaos came the Catholic Church. Now, this is the great thing about it. God revels in bringing order out of chaos. So, the order of the world came here. The whole went, for example, today is Friday, 11.30. Friday, 11.30, the concepts of Friday, the fifth day, 11.30, all these numbers, where do they come from? They come from here, the Summa. Akkadian civilization, like the Baghdad, this uh, Mesopotamian civilization, even before 
Abraham was 4,000 years ago. If you go back 5,000 years ago, they already knew about 365 days in the year. They knew about, uh, uh, the, it's called the six adjustable system, 60, 60, hour, 60 minutes in, a, in an hour, 60 seconds in an hour, uh, 60 minutes in an hour, uh, 60 seconds in, in every minute. That all came from here. So, Ur is, now, let's just say, we'll just go a, a little bit faster here, we see. This is just chaos, but it was also the cradle of civilization. Uh, and uh, we could uh, more aptly call it the cauldron of civilization. In other words, from this chaos, all these threads, the Parthians, the Arrangians, the Persians, the Egyptians, built what? The Catholic Church. That's why it was here. All these uh, civilizations, all these ideas from the Caucasus Mountains uh, coming down here, the, we had the Sumerians, uh, the Hittites, and all these people, they all went built. They were the threads building up the most magnificent tapestry in the world, which is the Catholic Church. And so we have here, Ur, Abraham comes from here. He goes up to Haran, and he comes here, and he's the first. And, okay, but this is, this is going, and he comes here, and he says, okay, I'm following God's plan. And God's fallen pan can solve all these problems. Really? Really? Yes, really. Uh, actually, all, all these problems, if we follow Abraham, we follow his ideas, which goes from Ur to Israel, old Israel, to Rome, to the Mass, to the Catholic Church, a very simple line, we've solved the problems of the universe. Really? Yes. Look at this. You see, this is chaos. Now, what do we see? After 2,000 years, that's 1,000 more plus years ago, what happens? Look at that. Look at this map now. What happens? There we are, boys and girls. <laughs> the whole thing becomes Catholic. The whole thing is under one guy, the Pope. The whole of the, the Western known world and the whole of the Eastern world, oh, no, you can say this is Iraq. What is this? Catholic churches, bishops meetings, synods, defining of the truth of the world. They were all out here, so if they were transformed. These are the Phrygians, these are the Hittites, these are Alexander the Great, these are the, 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 the Medes, these are the Persians. They all become, this is, this is Iraq, look at all this, Catholic churches. This is Iraq, Catholic churches, this is Persia, Catholic church. All of these people, Persia, Iran, Iraq, Syria, they all listened to the Pope, and the Pope was the boss, and the whole thing was peace. Well, obviously, there were, there were a certain amount of clashes going on, but at least it, like, it was one big system, one big order, and you break that order, you revert to what was going on before. So, let's follow Abraham. Okay, what does he do? Okay? All right, so we're going back again to Iraq. We said, this is Ur. As we've just said, this is the Persian Gulf. Now, what, what have we got in the Persian Gulf? We've just stated, you know, this is the Persian Gulf. This is Ur here. Abraham was here 4,000 years ago. Uh, there was, what, what was this? This was called the Middle Bronze Age. 4,000 years, it was the Middle Bronze Age. Stonehenge was 4,000 years, the second part. The Minoan civilization in Crete, the Linear B writing was coming at this time. The Egyptian pyramids were being built at this time. So we can see that contemporary with Abraham, Stonehenge, uh, the Minoan civilization, the Egyptian civilization, this was 4,000 years ago, 1,500 years before Buddha, before Plato, before Aristotle. God has his plan, and the plan came from Ur. And the Ur, if we will we'll notice in a minute, this, this place, Susa, there's a place called Sulo, Susa here. Uh, how, how can we be so sure that we're not talking complete nonsense? Because we, thanks to the archaeologists, you see, Mari, Nutsu, Nineveh, Asua, Nippo, Uruk, Lagash, Lhasa, Dumuzi, the archaeologists have been at work in all these places and they've come up with thousands of cuneiform tablets. You see, look at this Ua. All right, now what happens at Ua here? Okay, well, this is, that's the same thing, it's the same. You see, well, they have a Ubayad civilization, Lhasa, Lagos, and, uh, and all these people are, as you say, building up the, building up the present. Now, it started off 5,000 years ago, Kish. The king of Kish, he said he had a mandate from heaven to get moving. 
this fellow, uh, for example, the, the third dynasty of Ur, which was 4,000 years ago, uh, the king Namu, the same, Namu built, uh, built, these, built these things for, their, they're called ziggurats, we're going to see that in a minute. They built these ziggurats for their gods. So this is, this is uh, we get kind of sales, the cauldron, this is the cradle of civilization, Uruk, Kish, Ur, Laza, Lagash. We have here the stories of Gilgamesh come from Uruk of these places, and we have here Lagash. We've got tablets describing wonderful stories about how the king of Lagash, the king of Lagash, the, 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 the river of Mesopotamia, the Tigris, wasn't doing its stuff, so he has a dream, and, he, and he, the king of Lagash is called Gudea. He says, oh, queen, lord of heaven, what shall I do? He has a vision. What should I do? Okay, the lord king says what? What did he say? He said, get cracking, okay? Build what? Build what? Okay? We're going to build something. Okay, this is going over into the Elamites, but this is build. What, what am I supposed to build? All right, I'll tell you what I'm supposed to build. He said, build. What are you supposed to build? Build a ziggurat. See, look, the word ziggurat is an Akkadian word which is used in Mesopotamia and Elam. Okay, now this, that's the word, that's the Tower of Babel. Where did the Tower of Babel come from? The Tower of Babel came from that, because just as in the Middle Ages, just in the Middle Ages, the European people were going completely mad, building these huge big cathedrals, simultaneously, well not simultaneous, but 4,000 4, years ago, the Elamites, the Mesopotamians, the, 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 the original proto ereans from the Elamites, this, is Elam, this, this word Elam, is turned into Persia. That's where, the, that's where the Persians came from. And the Akkadian words, the Akkadian is, the Babylonians came from this area in Mesopotamia. The God said to, we can say to uh, the king of Lagash Gudea, build me a ziggurat. And, and he built a ziggurat, and the top, he has a silver level here, and he put the god here, and in, in the, the most, the, one of the most famous ones, we've said, is in Ur, the one of the most fa the famous, uh, which we've just said Abraham comes from. And you know, Ur is not just 4,000 years ago. For another, you could say the Ur civilization, the people there, you could say it's about 3,000, so it's, it's well, well into 4,000 years ago. Because when Ab Abraham left Ur, there were all sorts of people, but the king Nebuchadnezzar, Cyrus the Great, all these people went to Ur because of the God. You know, this ziggurat was dedicated to one of the most important Elamite gods in Shukur, <laughs> both of whom had temples at the top. So all these gods, now why, why am I saying all these gods? Because all the, the, the whole of the, uh, uh, the, the whole of the, 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 the world at the time had a king and a god and a church. That's what the whole thing was about. So, uh, this is all leading us to the, the, the Catholic Church, it's a ziggurat, okay. Now th these are the ziggurats, look at them. You see, it's pretty, pretty, pretty uh, amazing, you know, after 4,000 years, you've got these fantastic relics of the ziggurats. This is the Tower of Babel, all right. Here you see this. These, uh, this is more or less, this is only about, uh, it, it was about 100 feet high. Some of them went for 100 feet high, and at the moment, if we go to Persia, if we go to Mesopotamia, if we go to Ur, if we go to what was near Elam, we go to Persepolis, and we go to all these places, we will uh, find uh, at least 32 of these ziggurats. And look and see how beautifully they've been preserved. But we can just remind ourselves of one thing, uh, various things. We can remind ourselves of one thing, that as we look at this, just as when we go to the Europe, all places of Europe, we have, uh, we have these, these beautiful cathedrals and we're very struck. We go in and we see uh, the stained glass windows. But actually, if we went to Europe uh, 1,000 years ago, uh, 1,000 years ago, more or less, and even before and after all these cathedrals were being built, we would have every, you know, shot, Neem, all these cathedrals, they would be brilliant colour. All the facade of the Notre Dame, they were painted every day, so all the, the people, the, whether they were the, 
the tribe of the great unwashed <laughs> would, go, would go. But all these people would go to these cathedrals and they would see on the face of these cathedrals the whole of the history of salvation. Likewise, 4,000 years ago, these ziggurats, they had, in, inside the ziggurat, they were, the, they were these mud brick, this, this setup. But originally, they were covered with beautiful, beautifully colored, scintillating tiles showing the people of the time what their gods were all about. So this is where, this is where we've got so far. We've got to go in a map. We're going to see people yearning to make relations with God. This is how they did it. And they started off, and then they gradually morphed, changed, developed into what? The Roman Catholic Apostolic Church. <laughs> so we're again. Okay. They only are. Okay, God bless. Have a good time. Thank you.